going to talk about a little bit about wave theory. Okay? And what happens in Earth? You get a great big ground motion up here. And what's that called? A wave, a shock wave that goes down into the valley and clobbers Palo Alto or Cupertino or whatever. So, what school do you go to? Fairmeadow. Fairmeadow? Mm -hmm. Okay. The Altoid can is Fairmeadow School and it's full of a bunch of nuts. Okay? That's a joke. <laughs> okay, and I am the San Andreas Fault. And I'm going to go bang up here. <coughs> and what we're do going bang is going to cause is waves going through the dirt down into Palo Alto or wherever. And the one I want to talk about first is that wave right there. Let's watch it. Boom. And it goes down and it hits the board. But it doesn't do much to the board. The board didn't get rattled much at all. Okay, that's the P wave or the primary wave or the pressure wave. P works in all kinds of ways for, for, with this. Okay, but earthquakes aren't that cool. They're not that nice. They don't just do this. They do that. Okay, let's watch that wave after it's going to settle down a bit. This is, you got to be really sharp-eyed to see this, but mm -hmm. that wave was significantly slower oh. than this one. Okay, so that's kind of cool. What that means is that when there's an earthquake up here, you get some notification before you get creamed. Mm -hmm. Okay, and this is the shear wave or secondary wave all starts with s this is the primary wave and the primary wave gets there first and the primary wave is really low frequency there's not a heck of a lot going on but people can hear it i one of the things i remember i boy it had to be in 1970 i guess you guys know where monta vista is some of you mm -hmm. probably do. Yeah. Monta Vista used to be a thriving community with a really good grocery store and mm -hmm. some other things. And I was standing in line in that grocery store and I was kind of... Any of you know Paula Quinterno? Mm -hmm. Old time family in Cupertino. Anyway, she was pretty cute. And I was flirting with her and her eyes got about this big in diameter. And you thought, great. I, yeah, I thought, I thought she thought I was cool. <laughs> well, as it turned out, she had heard the primary wave. And about four seconds later, here comes the shake. And it was definitely, definitely enough to, to feel. So anyway, the important thing here is, is that Paula could sense the wave and other people could, could sense the wave. Uh, and other machines can sense the wave. And one of the things that they do is the utilities, when they hear the P wave, they start to shut down. Mm -hmm. Because they know that if there, a lot of stuff is still running, when the earthquake really hits, they will be in trouble. Now, you don't feel anything, you don't see it, feel them shut down because they have enough flywheel storage to keep your power up so they don't have to... If they can restart again in five minutes or five seconds, you don't know the difference. But the point here is, is that things are... They do get a warning. Okay, thank you. Now I'm going to show you 